There's a new heated race on the local landscape to keep your eye come election night 2020. It's for the trustee seat in area two for the state center community college district. It's been occupied by Eric Payne since 2012, but in the last few months he's been under investigation for campaign violations and was slapped with a $54,000 fine on 21 counts of misconduct. When asked about the alleged violations, Payne says he's focused on ensuring the students are successful and that they receive the best education. So those allegations are compelling this man, Sebog Tatiosian, to run against Payne in 2020. Sebog, welcome to the show. Thank How you, are you? Thank you, Alexan. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. So you're uh, right now you're an analyst with the Fresno County Public Health yeah, Department. Yeah, in the Human Resources yeah. Division, HR. So we do investigations and stuff like that. So you're also a former aide to the former supervisor, Debbie Puchigian. So you have some experience in the political uh, arena a little bit. But uh, what made you to really decide that you wanted to take on Eric Payne in this uh, come upcoming election for this position? I've heard of this seat for a while now, for a couple of years actually, and this is not something new. If you go back, there's a lot of controversy around this candidate, and so I don't want to sit here and just bash him, but I'm tired of sitting back on the sidelines. As a constituent, I'm not happy with my representative, mm -hmm. and so that's why the best thing to do is jump in, take them on and go from there. And that's in the Northwest Fresno area and also in Kermit. Right, but it's yep. it's Northwest Fresno yep. and then it, it's Central Unified where I went to school. Right. So I went to Herndon Barstow Elementary, mm -hmm. Central Unified School District, Central High School, and then it goes out west to Kerman and Raisin City. So it's a huge district. Are, are you having people tell you in your ear, hey, it's time for you to run or was this something, okay, I'm looking at this, I'm examining it, okay, I'm just gonna do this on my own. At first, it was on my own. I mm -hmm. woke up one night after hearing story after story, and it's nothing new. It goes back from like 2000, uh, 2012 or so. And so one night I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm tired of sitting on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. I'm in. And my real admiration for the State Center Community College District came about 10 years ago when I worked for United Way in charge of a program called Bank on Fresno. Uh, we were partnered with the FDIC, the Schwarzenegger administration, and I, we actually applied for a grant with Reedley College. We didn't get the grant, but Fresno City College got it. Mm -hmm. And from that time, we started partnering closely with the State Center Community College District. And I saw what a value added that organization is to our community. I never went there. I went to Fresno State, but it's a game changer. I'll tell you a little bit more later. Well, I, I want to say this because aside from the allegations, and I know that th that's a big deal, and I get it, because anybody that is allegedly doing something that they're, they're not supposed to doesn't really deserve that position. I get it. But Eric Payne has been in that position for seven years. He won a close re-election in 2016. Really, how do you think you can beat him aside from the allegations? I'm going to do what I know how to do best, work hard, and go door to door. There's already a plan in place for me to start going door to door, listening to what some of the constituents, hearing them out, and also telling my story. The, the, bashing the incumbent is just one piece of it. There's a story that I want to tell about me. You know, I've been on local radio for over 20 years volunteering, helping people tell their story about this great community that we live in. You know, I coordinated financial education for 1,700 people all over this county, working with experts to teach basic financial education. We did it at Reedley College, we did it at City College, we did it all over. And so if Eric Payne was sitting right in front of you right now, he's probably watching. Good. Um, what would you say to him? It's on. I would say it's on. As, a, as you know, he's my rep right now. Mm. I would tell him I'm disappointed in him. We all make mistakes, Alex. On nobody's perfect. You, me, the people operating the cameras, everybody makes mistakes. But fess up to it. Don't start making stories because we're not stupid. And so we begin to pick at these things. Mm -hmm. And so it's one thing after another with this guy. For me, it's about credibility. Look, there's a new campus going on the west side, right? Governor Newsom signed a law that said that two years of City College is now free for people. And there's guidelines to that, but these are game changers. And my point is, do you really want someone with credibility issues making these decisions? I can't sit back. I've got three kids and I want them to know that their dad fought as hard as he could to make sure that the good battle is fought.
All right. Seth Ogg, talk to Ozzy, and we appreciate your time. Thanks, Alex. It'll Alexander. be fun to watch. All right. Stay tuned. Yes. Coming up, our panel returns. 2019, a year to remember on the local political stage. We're going to break down the biggest stories and look ahead with some bold predictions.